Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to take a look at some of the records I've been collecting and purchasing throughout the years. I hope you all enjoy this content. It's something a little different than the usual music or talking. It's like a little bit of the both, you know. We're just giving you some of the content you need in your life that you didn't know you needed. But I'm here to deliver. So why don't we just jump right into it? What do you think? So I want to go in alphabetical order in terms of the artist's last name. And if it's like multiple people or various artists on the soundtrack or something, I'm just going to throw that at the end. So let's get started. <laughs> First up, we have Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. Classic album came out in 2006, apparently. That's what it says on here. And I actually have two copies of the vinyl. One is a nice hot pink color, and then the other one is just a standard black vinyl. So, love this record, love this album. Classic, an essential in the vinyl collection. And I feel like Amy Winehouse is just such quintessential vinyl albums. Like, she has that vintage kind of throwback vibe that is very much vinyl. Next up, we got Ariana Grande, Positions. Switching my positions for you. This album was really good. I really enjoyed it. Still enjoy it. Love her vocals. It came with like some mini posters. You know, you look like. I think it's pretty uncanny. Yeah, great album. Favorite tracks are POV, Safety Nets, and My Hair. Those are the top three. But overall, great album. Love it. Next up, we got Season Greetings from Barbara Streisand. The one and only Barbara Streisand. Broadway legend royalty. Yeah, it's just some Christmas hits. Great for the holiday season. I got this at like a tag sale. Somebody was just like selling a bunch of records in their yard. So I stopped in and I got some good finds. Next up, we have Miss Billie Eilish's debut EP, Don't Smile At Me. When this came out, I was absolutely obsessed with Billie, her style, just everything. She was really a breath of fresh air in the music industry. Favorite song, Bellyache and Copycat. The next Billie album we got is When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? This has the banger, Bad Guy, it's pretty sick like a nice black um, vinyl piece and then the vinyl itself is actually glow in the dark which is kind of cool kind of goes with the whole dark image like nighttime imagery the next vinyl I have in my collection is Bob Dylan's another side of Bob Dylan this was actually my mother's a lot of my vinyl collection is from her vinyls that she had when she was younger and collected. This is now a new edition in mine. Thanks, Mom. Up next, we got another Bob Dylan. This is John Wesley Harding, the album. And again, this is also formerly my mother's, but she gifted it to me. Thanks again. This one doesn't have the actual um, covering or the case for the vinyl, but it is Conan Gray's Sunset Season, its debut EP and first major label uh, project. So I was really excited about this. It's literally so freaking cute. Like it's this really tiny, small, I think this is blue, I'm colorblind, but it has like these beautiful clouds. Ugh, I freaking love this EP. If you like Conan stuff now, listen to this old stuff. It's really freaking fire. And if you like Lord, Pure Heroin, listen to this album. Oh, this EP I mean. Continuing on, we have Donna Summer's Bad Girls. This is an essential disco album. If you haven't heard of Donna Summer's, who are you? This is literally the queen of disco. Like, there's hot stuff, 
I want love. Lots of great hits from Donna Summer. Love her. Classic album. Let me show you inside. Yes. Smash hits. Coming in with our first Frank Sinatra record, we have Frank Sinatra. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So this is another holiday album. Got this at that tag sale. It was only $2. Like, how could I pass this up? I love Frank Sinatra. Love that classic, rich voice he has. So, fantastic. Next up from Mr. Sinatra, we got Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits. We got Strangers in the Night, Something Stupid, When Somebody Loves You, so many classics on this one. Yeah, again, a big fan of Frank Sinatra's voice. As a fellow baritone, thank you, Frank, for setting the standard. More of a modern artist, we got Mr. Harry Styles, the debut album, Harry Styles. I remember when this first came out, I was literally obsessed. This was actually my very first vinyl I ever owned because, you know, Harry Styles just makes me feel certain ways that no one else can. So, had the splurge, got that at Target. Thank you, Target. This next album came out in 2020 during the pandemic. Uh, it was a huge smash. You may or may not know her as Miss Lady Gaga's Chromatica. This vinyl is super cool because it is clear, kind of, you can kind of see through it. I appreciate Gaga keeping things cheap for us fans. Um, you know, very affordable vinyl from Target. It was $23.97, thank you. Appreciate it. Next up we got Chromatica again, but it's the remix, sorry, just a remix version of Chromatica. However, there's collabs with Arca, Rina Sawayama, Pablo Vitar, Charlie XCX, and AG Cook, Ash Nico, Shy Girl, Dorian Electra, and much, much more. This is fire if you haven't listened to the remix album. It's actually really good really in reinvented the songs, in my opinion. And I actually like some of the remixes better than the original, especially Pablo Vitar's remix of Fun Tonight. That one is so freaking good. Such a good spin. Next up, we got one of the OG queens of Alternative, Lana Del Rey, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. This is actually a gift for Christmas from my brother. Shout out to you. Love Lana. I used to be like super duper into her. Um, but now I'm just like a more moderate fan. It wasn't my favorite compared to Norman fucking Rockwell, but still still like a bunch of the songs. Dark But Just a Game is the favorite off of this work. The next Lana Del Rey record that I have in my collection is the debut Born to Die. This album was really impactful when I was like 14. I listened to it for the first time. It was just so good. I love Off to the Races and how many words are in it. So good. So good. Don't listen to this as much. Don't listen to Lana Del Rey as much in general anymore. Um, she used to be one of my favorites, but her politics definitely declined, which made me not want to listen to her music as much. Love you, Lana, but you know, it's the reality of the situation. And then directly after that, we have Lana Del Rey, Paradise. And this has the classic My pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola And Ride So this one's pretty good, I love it We're making pretty steady progress through my stack of vinyls We're on the letter L in the alphabet And we're moving on to Lizzo Cause I love you, this album is a smash Literally every single song hits Love Lizzo, love her new album that just came out too It's a great listen, love it on vinyl Favorites are It's hard to choose Cause I love you, Jerome And Juice Megan Thee Stallion, good news This is probably the coolest vinyl I own The inside is really fucking sick Let me open it up for you Like, literally just Meg work obsessed, mounted this on my wall in my college dorm. What 
more could I want? Like, this album is so good. I love Meg. I know my Megan. Just saying, do you? Do you know your Megan? Hopefully you do. If not, Megan Sally, good news, always good news. Continuing on, we have Michael Jackson's Thriller, the highest selling album of all time ever. Um, I mean, what's to say about this album that hasn't already been said? Like, we know it's iconic, we know it's like the most known album ever, like Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, PYT, Baby Mine, Wanna Be Starting Something, literally some of Michael Jackson's biggest and best songs on here. And I actually own two copies of this album. Pretty sick, love a good listen. The king of pop music. Speaking of the king of pop music, we have some more. Michael Jackson, this vinyl is off the wall. This uh, vinyl has Don't Stop To Get Enough, Rock With You. Those, those are like the big ones. The big singles from this album. Um, yeah, it's great. Love Michael Jackson. Culturally, his music is extremely impactful. And I feel like we're really seeing that now in like 2022 with the whole retro pop dance kind of craze. Especially with The Weeknd. Very heavy weekend vibes. Or I should say Michael Jackson vibes from the weekend. Um, so yes, love off the wall. Next up, we got Nat King Cole's Unforgettable. This one has one of my faves of all time, Mona Lisa. Love Nat King Cole's voice. Again, shout out to my baritones out there. Nat King Cole, you know. Trailblazer. I got this at a tax sale, so it was two freaking dollars. How could I pass that up? Uh, I'm really excited about this next one. I recently got this at Target. It is probably the most expensive vinyl I've ever owned, but so worth it. And that is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. So it actually has three discs. So it opens up, boom, like this. And then there's a third. And this is what it looks like all together. So, absolutely freaking love Nicki. This album is so iconic, like it put her on the fucking map, um, mainstream wise. Can't go wrong with listening to Pink Friday. This has Did It On Em, Roman's Revenge, Fly, Moment for Life, Super Bass. Bedrock and Roman's Revenge. So, so many fucking Nikki classics on here. Up next, we got uh, another super cool vinyl. Um, this one's actually special edition. It is Taylor Swift's Folklore. She had exclusive album sales with different covers. So, this is the one that I chose. It was my favorite. And then, this is what it looks like on the inside. Yes. We love Miss Swift here on the channel. Big fan, big fan. Continuing on the theme of Miss Swift, we got the pop holy grail itself, 1989. This album, legendary. Legendary status, this album. It does not get its credit, like cultural resets. This is what the inside looks like. Bunch of Polaroids, super cute. You already know what songs are on this, like who doesn't know this album at this point? Then we got some more Taylor with Lover. This one has really cool discs. They're see-through. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Cute. Taylor is giving us gay rights. Thank you, me he he. You need to calm down. We love. Very pink, very cute, very soft. I would not say that Lover is in my top three for Taylor Swift albums. I don't know, it's just not my fave project by her. She seems a little confused with the direction. Oh my god. And then, isn't that so cute? Like, hello? And then just a clear little green, I think? I'm literally colorblind. Correct me in the comments below. This one is super slay. At this point, we are nearing the end of the alphabet. So, as we start to wrap things up, after Taylor's album, we got W for Whitney Houston. I mean, Whitney Houston is the vocalist of 
literally the world. Like, who is, whose vocals can top Whitney? Debate in the comments below. Let's start the conversation. Honest conversation. The big banger off of this one is How Will I Know? Love that song. Who doesn't? For the next few albums, they're actually a bunch of records from my high school, but it's not from when I went there, it's when my mother went there. So these are part of the vinyls she's given me and they are actually their old concerts from her high school, which is also my high school. And she's in one of them, so not all of them she's singing it on, but I think it's this one. But she's a featured vocalist. Pretty cool. My mom has a vinyl before me, so a little salty about that. I guess I'll have to deal with it. As we get towards the end of my collection that I'm showing y'all today, um, we're jumping into some group soundtracks, just multiple artists, compilation, movie kind of things. So, first up we got The Music Man, the musical. Love this musical. It's pretty good. I was in a production of the show locally when I was a child. Played Winthrop, you know. Just have good memories of this show. Up next we got Saturday Night Bieber featuring the Bee Gees, Tavares, and Yvonne Ellington. You all know the hits from this. It's a classic, great vinyl to have. So many smash hits, more than a woman. If I can't have you, how deep is your love? Staying alive, night fever, so many classics. Yet again, we have another Christmas album. This is by the great artists of our time, as it's titled, featuring Tony Bennett, Robert Goulet, the Cleveland Orchestra, George Sizzell, Diane Carroll, Steve Lawrence, the Brothers Four, John Davidson. Barbara Streisand, the Harry Simone Corral, Jerry Vale, Steve Lawrence, John Davidson. But this is a Christmas record, don't worry that much. Next, Dream Girls, the original Broadway soundtrack. You might know this with Beyonce and Jennifer Hudson in it for the movie. Good soundtrack. Saw it at my local. Salvation Army and knew I had to grab it because it was only a dollar, I think. Great album, original cast. We'd love to see it. Next up, we got Mary Poppins, the Disney classic. I saw this at a yard sale and I was like, okay, why not? Like, love Mary Poppins. It has some banging ass songs. Pretty cool inside. And the final record I will be showing today is. A Christmas gift. It has Barbara Streisand, Tony Bennett, Tanya Tucker, Malia Jackson, Bridget Nilsson, New York Philharmonic, Leonard Bernstein, and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, Bing Crosby, Steve Lawrence and the Andy Gorm, Debbie Reynolds, Duke Ellington and his orchestra, Johnny Matias, Vicky Carr, Percy Faith and his orchestra, Robert Merrill, the Ray Conniff Singers, Johnny Cash, Julie Andrews, and Sammy Davis Jr. All on this vinyl of Christmas hits. Oh wait, it says right there. What do you know? I was reading it off the back all this time. Anyway, that is all the records I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you thought that the collection was a little interesting and some unexpected finds that you wouldn't think I'm into because I'm shocking. And But make sure to leave a like, yes, like the video, and comment below what your favorite vinyl you saw me share was. Comment below, and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace out.